beautiful weather, good for solar charging for sure. Um, I would say for LLB and as an outdoor brand, it's the first time we've ever done a press event on a parking lot, uh, <laughs> surrounded by pavement vehicles, um, but as you'll see, it's for a great reason. Um, let me introduce our special guests who are all to my left. So Kate Simpson, who is from Senator Collins' office, Gail Kieser from Senator King's office, uh, Beth Bosang from Representative Pingree's office, um, and I'll get to Barry in a second. Um, and then we have lots of other partners who are here. I'll go through them in a minute uh, with all the different electric vehicles. Um, also today we have Revision Energy, uh, Tesla, Central Maine Power is here. And then we also have Lee Auto Mall, uh, Goodwin Motor Group, um, who would be happy to show you their cars. I think you can test drive some of the cars and I'm sure they'd love to sell you a car. Um, so <laughs> they're here. Um, and then a huge shout out to our internal L.L. Bean team, who's all standing right there. We've got uh, Andy Mayo, uh, Dave Lockman, and Pat Skull. Can I see, where's Pat? Uh, he's, he's having a baby. Ah. <laughs> his wife is having a baby. Yeah, um, if he's having a baby, that's real news. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyway, so they are, have done all of the work here, and this actually has been a project for more than a year, um, putting together and, and working on all the landscaping and stuff, and so the team here has just done an awesome job coordinating all those pieces. Um, as you guys know, we've been here for 106 years. LL was a real person, um, and he was a big time outdoor person and a conservationist, um, and would love the fact that we're doing something that is helping protect the environment. He also was an amazing entrepreneur coming up with the boot and several other products, and I think he'd be blown away knowing that electric vehicles are alive and well in our reality. So um, it is, um, it's a pretty cool attachment. Um, for us as a company, um, we are built around environmental stewardship. As you would expect, our mission is to inspire and enable people to get outside. Uh, we try to build all of our buildings to green building standards. Um, all of our paper and packaging are responsibly sourced. Uh, we have robust corporate recycling. Uh, we do uh, biodegradable of all of our food waste from all of our cafeterias. Uh, we invest in solar and biodiesel and natural gas um, to help the environment. Um, and we also continue to improve the sustainability of our products that we sell to our customers. And we continue to increase our product line with sustainable fabrics, um, 10 to 20 percent per season. Um, and in addition, uh, the opportunity to, to create uh, the state's largest um, electric charging station just fit right within that uh, with our responsibility for Maine and for the environment and for the community. And what you see here are 16 total chain uh, chargers. So there's um, eight Tesla stations to my left. There are eight um, Type 2, uh, not Type 2, they are called Level 2s um, for coming down here. So eight other chargers. Um, and again, we hope that this charging station helps show our demonstration for uh, curbing emissions and helping the environment. So before we do a quick little ribbon cutting, I will ask our guests uh, to say a word, and I'll ask Kate to come up first from uh, Senator Collins' office. Kate. Steve, thank you. On behalf of Senator Collins, I'd like to share a few words from her. Dear friends, during National Drive Electric Week, it is appropriate that we celebrate L.L. Bean as it launches the largest electric vehicle charging station in Maine. With your leadership and support, the trend towards plug-in vehicles will continue to grow, providing the many benefits of cleaner air, fewer greenhouse gas emissions, enhanced energy security, and cost savings from vehicle fueling, operation, and maintenance. As a supporter of renewable energy and clean energy initiatives, I applaud this pioneering resource. L.L. Bean is known throughout Maine and beyond our borders for doing the right thing before it even becomes popular. Today is yet another example of your long commitment to environmental stewardship. Congratulations and best wishes on your continued successes. Sincerely, Senator Susan M. Collins. Senator Collins, um, and then I'll have Gail Kiesa come up from Senator King's office. Good morning. Um, Senator King was so sorry he couldn't be here to celebrate with L.L. Bean today and all of you. Um, he sent me to offer his heartiest congratulations and his deepest thanks to L.L. Bean for doing its part to help reduce vehicle-related emissions that contribute to a warming climate. It's inspiring to see L.L. Bean cater to and roll out the red carpet for drivers of vehicles that are low or zero emitters. As a hybrid vehicle driver himself, I would imagine Senator King may be partaking of the services you are offering. 
that the new generation of L.L. Bean leaders continues to pioneer in acting for cleaner air, not just talk, talk, talking about it, is such a meaningful tribute to L.L. Bean's founder. And we like to kind of muse in the office about if Leon Leonwood were here um, today, we think he would really approve. And we were thinking about if back in his day, um, he had been told about the state of our earth and about electric vehicles and about these chargers and Tesla, he might have exclaimed, ah, that's science fiction, you know? Um, if he were here today, I think he would, as an avid outdoorsman and a conservationist, as you said, long before it was popular or even considered being a particular, you know, category of person, um, I think he would really understand kind of this moment and the importance of it. Um, in that vein, I do think Senator King would want me to remind us all of the current context of this moment when efforts are underway to relax more stringent and landmark fuel economy and vehicle related emission standards. He would remind us of the need for collective action at all levels of government and in our communities to deter environmental, public health and economic dangers associated with climate change. It is bold business investments and incentives like this one we celebrate today that help Senator King truly dig his heels in to the backslide and instead get the breath of fresh air from this wonderful upswing. So thanks from all of us for the inspiration. And Beth. Good morning. It's a pleasure to be with you all on this beautiful Maine day and to share a few words on behalf of the Congresswoman. She writes, Dear friends, it is a pleasure to congratulate L.L. Bean on building the state's largest electric vehicle charging station. I'm sorry I couldn't make it to the ribbon cutting, but I applaud the company on its leadership in supporting a key piece of infrastructure for the growing number of electric vehicles on the road. As a proud owner of a Chevy Volt, one of those vehicles happens to be mine. I love driving it, and at the Capitol, I look forward to bumping into my colleagues at the charging station we have there. I used to have it mostly to myself, but it's getting harder to find a spot as it, as it has become popular among members of both parties. In fact, one of the colleagues I see there the most couldn't be farther from me on the political spectrum but we can always find agreement on our shared fondness of electric vehicles, as it should be. Living a little lighter on the earth so we can have cleaner air and a healthier future for our children should not be a partisan issue. And while I'm disappointed that politics prevents us from taking swifter action in Congress to address climate change and other environmental threats, I'm always glad to see our communities take positive steps forward, especially in the private sector. Having a company like L.O. Bean such a, set such a strong example makes it easier for us to follow suit in Washington. And it also makes it easier for electric vehicle owners to shop for boots, tote bags, and other L.O. Bean essentials, which I can personally appreciate. If you see me plugging in my Volt, please say hello. Thank you again, and congratulations. Take care, Shelley Pingree, Member of Congress. Thank you, Beth, and thank you very much, members of our, our congregation, great uh, or congressional delegation, not congregation. Um, and uh, Barry Wood, uh, who will come up from Revision Energy. Barry is the director of electrical vehicle innovation with Revision, which is the company that we contracted with to install the level two chargers, and he's the co-chair of the Drive Electric Maine. Um, he really is instrumental in getting this station here and a lot of the uh, pro projects um, across the state of Maine. So Barry, here you are. Thank you so much. And thank you, L.L. Bean, for the opportunity to speak briefly. Uh, I also want to reiterate a call out to members of the L.L. Bean team, Mac McGeever, Carolyn Bean, David Lockman, Pat Skull, and Bill Yeo, uh, all of whom I know played instrumental parts within the uh, organization uh, to make this project uh, successful. Um, and also on behalf of Revision Energy, 
I want to thank uh, L.L. Bean. Um, we really appreciate the opportunity to work with you uh, in doing these projects. It's a unique intersection of clean energy and clean transportation, two of our most favorite topics. And lastly, as an electric vehicle driver, I, I really want to thank L.L. Bean for making driving electric a lot easier uh, in the state of Maine. Um, there's a recent poll uh, that uh, the Natural Resources Council of Maine uh, completed, which shows that the two biggest reasons that Mainers are buying these cars with plugs is because they are environmentally friendly and because they uh, save money. And I was thinking that's a pretty complimentary set of values relative to what L.L. Bean's consumer demographic is. Uh, the other interesting thing that the poll re revealed was that uh, for those who buy these cars, what comes to be their single most um, uh, favorable impression about the car is that they are fun to drive. And so for those of you who are in the audience today who have not had a chance to drive uh, these vehicles, I really urge you to take this opportunity uh, to test drive because it's easy to hear the buzz, but it's certainly very different for, for somebody to hit the accelerator. Um, and then uh, I want to say that uh, this is a critical link in the chain, this charging station cluster is a critical link in the chain for what we see as developing a very robust main public, publicly accessible network of chargers. Uh, Efficiency Maine, uh, I see Michael Stoddard in the audience and, the, and Maine Department of Transportation have funding and they're in the process of administering um, you know, a, a charging station uh, project that will electrify the interstate, uh, many interstates here in Maine. Uh, and help drivers, and so Freeport is obviously a destination for a lot of drivers, but it's also a great jumping off point given the range of these cars to access much of uh, the rest of Maine. Um, and lastly, I think it bears noting that the uh, transportation sector is the single largest contributor of greenhouse gases uh, in uh, the United States. Any reduction that we can make in driving with gasoline represents a tremendous uh, benefit. Um, and uh, I hope that, uh, I hope that uh, this is the first uh, of many charging clusters. Uh, I want to I say particular, with particular gratitude that for an iconic brand such as L.L. Bean, both in Maine and globally, to adopt this technology as aggressively as it has and to actually dedicate prime real estate right next to their flagship store uh, represents tremendous business leadership. Uh, I hope that the larger business community takes note. Uh, I don't think L.L. Bean is known for making capricious business judgments uh, and decisions. Uh, they are doing this for, I think, all of the right reasons to benefit their customers and the environment, and I want to express my deep, deep gratitude for what you're doing with this. Thank you. So with that, it's time to uh, to cut the ribbon. So I'm assuming there's a pair of scissors around somewhere, maybe. Are they back here? Cut the ribbon. So now go test drive a car.